Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, The Real Randy Chavez. This is going to be a long form talk, or really just my opinion. I'm just on to, I guess, vent or whatever. Sorry, Dashie. Uh, is going to be about if you should have let your kids trick or treat or not. How do you feel about that? Do you have candy? Did you hand out to anyone? And there was a lot of debate about this because there are some states and some counties that say like no trick or treating during this pandemic. We cannot. And I believe the science behind it was like, guys, we're, we're, a lot of us are trying to quarantine. A lot of us are trying to, you know, slow the spread of this disease. Let us please not spread it by going up to strange people's houses and talking to them for a few seconds, especially like kids, especially they have old people. Please don't do that. And, and I get it. You know, okay, that's a fair point. But at the same time, like, all right, this is the one holiday where everyone's supposed to wear masks to begin with. And the kids, the people that it is least likely to affect. And then, like, if you don't want to hand out candy, don't hand out candy. Like, don't, if you if you have some old people living with you, or you are old, or you're fat, or immunocompromised, and you think, like, hey, if I get this disease, I'm probably not going to make it, don't hand out candy. Just have a sign, like, hey, no candy here, whatever. Or just leave candy out in a bowl for, for kids. Um, you are only young once, man. Um, and even the World Health Organization says, like, if the... If the results of the quarantining and the results of this shutdown are worse than what would have happened if we didn't shut down, then we shouldn't shut down. Like that, the World Health Organization recognizes that suicides are up, hunger is up. Like there's like 30 million people in the U.S. right now that cannot afford food because they can't work, because businesses are shut down. And World Health Organization is like, guys, like this is not what we meant. Like this is not. If we shut down, okay, spread the disease, save lives, yes, but if more lives are being lost by uh, suicide and homelessness and hunger and people, like, mental health is going down, let's, let's not freaking do this. And, of course, Europe is like, ugh, I don't know what happened in Europe, but every place is shutting down now. I think Sweden is, like, the only one, which Sweden never really had a shutdown. Sweden was just like, hey, let's herd immunity and it seems to work out fine for them. Granted, Sweden has, like, 30 people in the country. Now they a lot of people, but... It's, not nearly as much as the rest of us, and um, yeah, I, I just don't. I, I hold the same views as I did in like other videos. I said, listen, if you're immuno, immunocompromised, or you're overweight, or old, or you have a bad pre-existing condition that COVID could really uh, make worse, yeah, don't you know, quarantine. Um, you know, don't do anything, and. I get it. It sucks. And I, if I was old, like if I was fat or had like diabetes or whatever, I'd be like, okay, you know what? I can be my introverted self and I will play video games. I will read books. I will just get drunk every day and I will have Uber Eats to me or whatever. And I would not want the economy shut down just because uh, maybe I might get sick. And if I do, it's most likely my own fault. And like, I don't want other people going hungry because of me. I don't want other people's mental health and bank. God, I don't know how much it sucks to lose everything you have because of some, because me, some old guy might. Get a no, I, I, do, I would not want that at all. No, no one would want, no, I think good person would want other people to sacrifice all of that just for themselves. Especially when me, let's say as an old person, like I've already lived my life. Uh, okay. And a lot of other people haven't. Now it gets really dicey when you have um one of the brothers on the podcast maddie who lives with her grandma and yeah that that sucks okay you can't you know these kids can't go out and live their lives because you know they're, they're living with people that you know are also um you know old and you know compromised but so it, it's rough and i get it but dude, not halloween like you're <laughs> again you're, you're only young once like again you only live once and you have time to do whatever you want but you there's only certain things you can do when you're a kid trick-or-treating like you get away with certain stuff and uh, you know you, you need that as like an experience and and i get it like first world problems okay like we have food and we have running water and heat and electricity and air conditioning and you know okay god forbid like it's so safe in your country that you do not get rocketed you don't have widespread famine or you don't have you know, widespread disease, you know, minus the COVID, minus the hunger that's going on because of the sh shutdowns, because of the COVID, minus that, I, I get it, like, oh, wow, you can't, like, go out and get free candy. I get it. Uh, you know, first world problems, but 
at the same time, like, where where is this world headed to? I, I mean, ev- presumably things keep going where they're going. Every nation at some point will be a first world country, you know, and a rising tide raises all ships. Like, you're going to have a bunch of these uh, countries where because of capitalism, where, I, again, I get it, that a lot of money goes to the 1% and a lot of money doesn't go down here. But again, rising tide raises all ships. You're going to have a lot of these countries, the standard of living is going up, and eventually you will have uh, all these countries being the same. That, that's the goal to, for everyone to have money and, you know, save the planet and be multi planet species. But, um, you know, as a kid, you're young, you want to experience things. And as a parent, you should also want your kid to experience things because if they don't, then that's just one less thing that they have to talk about with other people. And they, I, I, why do you have kids? Why do parents get their kids, you know, braces? Why do they, you know, get them like cover up for, you know, zits and stuff? Like, why do they put them on medicine? Because they want them to grow up and be healthy. And they also subconsciously want their kids eventually to grow up and fuck. And they want their kids to have other kids get the genetic line passed. Like, so... In order to do that, you want to get your kids experience. You want your kids to be smart. And maybe some people say like, okay, yeah, well, uh, going out and spending time with people uh, in this pandemic is not smart. Maybe you're right. Maybe this disease that has less than 1% death rate that doesn't affect kids might have a, and not that it doesn't affect, it affects everyone. Just kids are a lot less likely to get it than anyone else. Maybe you're being safe, super cautious, but at, like at what expense, at what cost? Like, you know, having kids already like didn't have like graduations, they didn't are not having like sweet sixteens, they're not having these people aren't having weddings. And again, I know first world problems, but we I mean, like enough is enough at this point. Like, when the shutdown is is worse, you know, and the consequences of it are, are worse than what would actually happen if we just stayed open. I don't know. It's just my opinion on things. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. Comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me if I'm wrong. But don't just say, like, hey, you're wrong. No, like, put links down. You know, just open a dialogue. Let's, you know, uh, help everyone learn. All right. I love you. All right. Bye. Meow.